Hello everybody, it's Azazel the Basement Dweller here, and welcome back to Street Fighter 6. It's been a little bit, um, obviously. I don't post as many videos as often, um, mainly just because, you know, I got class, class started back up, been working a lot, and uh, Skullgirls has not been getting a lot of updates, and as you guys know, I mainly like to make videos when Skullgirls gets updates. The Skullgirls character lore series is still continuing, it's just on a little bit of a hiatus, because, uh, I have to find time to, you know, edit that video down, but the scripts are written for it, so that should be coming out within the next month, hopefully. But that's not what we're here to talk about. Today, we're here to talk about Aki. Um, yeah, I've been playing a lot of Street Fighter VI. Uh, if you guys caught really early Street Fighter VI streams from me, uh, I was, you know, road to master rank. Uh, I was playing Marissa. Uh, I am now one of the highest ranked players in the world. I'm in the top thousand, or... Top 1100 because I'm like 1029th in the world, like leaderboard wise, which is awesome. Like, it's I, I've been playing really well, I've been feeling myself improve a lot in this game, having a great time playing Marissa. Um, but I do, I did always want to pocket in this game. And the, one of the issues that I've been having with Street Fighter 6 is outside of Marissa, I can't really find a lot of characters that I enjoy playing. Uh, I did like Jamie, but Jamie low key sucks. Um, he's fun to play though, but. Aki came out today, and uh, I did my placement matches with Aki. I ended up in platinum because I'm I'm hard carried by Marissa. I can't play new or mid tier characters, but uh, I had a great time playing her. And I kind of wanted to do like a little why I love Aki, you know, uh, overview on this character, like uh, a quick little overview about this character and how good I think she's gonna be and how fun I think she is to play. Um, so yeah, we're just going to get right into it. We're going to talk about her kit, because I think her kit's really cool. So, Aki, in universe, is the apprentice of Fang from Street Fighter V. If you don't remember, Fang was uh, one of the neo Shadowloo or not Neo, uh, one of the Shadowloo members. He was M. Bison's, like, right-hand man. Uh, he was a pushover. He was really lame. Uh, a lot of people didn't like his design very much. Um, but I always thought the concept of Fang was really cool. He's a Chinese martial artist who trained and specialized in using Niu Hao Poison, which he used to, like, dip his hands in for eight hours a day until his hands got rotted to the bone and his bones got permeated with Niu Hao Poison. And he would, like, stab you with his fingers and infect you and you would turn into, like, dust. Uh, Aki is very similar. Her fingernails are full of poison. She has, like, gauntlets. She can throw them out. Um, and they inflict poison much like Fang does. And it's very similar to Fang's Poison. It's just a very slow, like, you damage over time. Uh, it makes all your moves deal a little bit of extra damage. Her Poison's special uh, because other than just dealing damage over time, it also makes it so your moves have special properties. So for example, this one usually is a high knockdown, uh, but if you do medium after their Poison, it's a uh, stun instead, so you can get a combo off of it. And that's her main gimmick. She is a... Screen control character, which Fang was more like a zoner uh, with good rushdown, and she's very similar, where she's very much about, like, you know, keeping the opponent, you know, at a, at a distance. Um, her fireball is very good. It's a very big fireball. It does a decent amount of damage. It's got one hit, and it inflicts poison. It does not inflict poison on block like Fang's did, uh, but it is a very slow-moving projectile, so it's very good for taking up screen space. Um... Does decent damage. Does 500 damage plus the poison damage. Guaranteed 532. Um, the fireball doesn't get any special effects when somebody's poisoned. Um, but, you know, it, it's a fireball. Like, it's, it's good. Um, she has Orchid Spring, which is down back medium. Uh, medium punch. This does no damage. Uh, it just inflicts poison. It is just a move that raw inflicts poison. Uh, it's really good, though, because it inflicts poison... And it keeps them poisoned. So as you saw, I already hit them with a move. And usually when you hit them, it absorbs the poison. But if you hit them on top of an Orchid Spring, it doesn't. You pretty much get two activations of your poison. Uh, which is really cool. Um, and then the heavy version of this move is uh, Poison Wreath, I believe it's called. This is like a little combo ender. Uh, you know. Something like that. It's just a nice, fast startup, decent damage. It also inflicts poison. I don't believe it has any special effects once they're already poisoned. Um, 
all these moves, you know, these kind of just inflict poison or like deal damage are all of her uh, quarter circle back moves. Quarter circle forward, you have, uh, I, I've been calling this fingernail because I have no idea what it's actually called. Uh, Serpent Lash. Serpent Lash, you got three different versions of it, light, medium, and heavy. They each go in a different arc. Uh, and they all have different combo properties. So light on poison is a knockdown. Medium on poison is a stun. And uh, heavy is like a really big knockup, which you can confirm off of uh, with drive moves, which is very cool. Um, she also has a stance. She has slither, which is very similar to Fang. Hers doesn't sit still, though. Hers has to move, whereas Fang's uh, sat still. However, she does have Fang's double kick. Uh, off of it and it works in a very similar way where uh, it's plus enough on the hit to combo so it's a very good like low profile uh, new to her though that Fang didn't have in this stance she has a punch variant which is like a full screen dive kick and uh, it inflicts poison and it is uh, and when you hit them on poison it's also a stun for combos uh, but this is a anti projectile this goes through fireballs like clean it's very good. It's like genuinely a really good tool. Um, she also has a command grab in this stance if you throw. And it does a uh, pretty decent damage. I think it does like, yeah, 18. So it does 600 more damage than a regular throw. But, <gasps> excuse me. Uh, obviously, it's untackable because it's command grab. I love this. I've said it before. I love uh, giving characters that have no right having a command grab a command grab. I think it's super cool. Um,. And I'm like pretty sure that's it. Oh yeah, I forgot. And her fireball, you can pop it early and press forward light punch. The issue is it has to be during the startup of the fireball. Like it has to be during that initial animation. Or else you can't pop it. And you can't pop it with a special move either. So that's a little, you know, tragic. But I, I want to say that's about it for special moves. Oh, Cruel Fate, right. She has this weird, like, dive kick. It's plus on block, and it's plus on hit. Or it's, like, neutral on block and plus on hit, I think. Yeah, like, it's unpunishable on block. Uh, and then, like, the medium and the heavy ones are, like... I'm pretty sure the heavy one is just fully safe on block. Well, they're all safe on block, but, uh... They, like, deal a decent amount of damage. You can use them as, like, an anti-fireball or whatever. Um, the heavy one is plus enough to combo after. Uh, and then the EX one is a uh, hit grab that inflicts poison. Uh, weird move. I haven't used it that much, but it is pretty cool. Uh, and then she has targets. She has a couple target combos. She has a double light. And you can just combo this into special moves. It only really combos into, like, light special moves or uh, poison wreath. But, you know. You can do some some cute stuff with it. Uh, she also has a heavy punch, heavy punch target that inflicts poison. And uh, it does have an EX. It's a pop-up. So, you know, you can combo afterwards, which is really cool. Um... She's got a couple of command normals. This command normal is pretty cool. You can combo after it. Which is fun. Uh, she's got forward heavy punch, which doesn't inflict poison. And it can only be cancelled in the supers. But, you know, you can use it... Um, you can use it after, like, a stun. So, like... Uh, you can do, like, this, and then... Well, that's the concept. You know, you do, like, uh, a stun. So you do, like, a combo and a stun, and then you do that. And it's it's just a good guaranteed way to combo into her supers. Because uh, her supers do have pretty bad range, and they're kind of slow. Um, very similar to Fang, she has an automatic cross-up jumping. Uh, jump down heavy punch. 
depending on the timing of this, it's either a cross-up or it's not. Very tricky move. You can also use it to uh, whiff on purpose if you do it really early. And you can also, if you... You can do that, where, like, you get really close to the ground and do it. Uh, it's very tricky. It's a very tricky normal. I like it a lot. Um, that's pretty much it for that. Throws, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure she just has regular throws, and then, yeah. Uh, her super arts, her level one, it's very slow, but very invincible. Um, it inflicts poison. Does a decent amount of damage. Uh, I believe it does more damage when they're poisoned. Well, like, obviously it does more damage, but... Uh, it inflicts poison and it keeps poison. It's like it doesn't absorb poison, which is good. Um, her level two. Or, uh, level two. It's a nice, like, projectile super. You can use it as a counter fireball. There is no invincibility on this super, though. That is an issue with this super. It does also leave this big-ass orchid spring behind. And this lasts for a really long time. You can't use the super again until the puddle disappears. But, uh, that was light. You can also do different versions of it, and it'll go different range. So, it's a pretty neat super. It really bad invincibility. And then her level 3, which is just pretty typical level 3. You know. Very, uh, very close range for the most part. But, it is very fast. Um... She has a pretty decent dash because it's fast. It just doesn't go very far. But her forward dash is incredibly fast. She has a very fast forward dash. Uh, it just doesn't go very far. But she's very fun. Um, I did play, for those of you who don't know, I did play a decent amount of Fang in Street Fighter V. As they say, I had a Fang. It wasn't a great Fang, uh, but I had one. And this character kind of just feels like everything Fang should be. Like, her having a command grab, uh, having a counter projectile version of Coward Crouch, um, having, you know, a lot of ways to get around fireballs. Like, it's pretty much just Fang. Oh, she also has Fang's command dash. She has a light version, which doesn't go anywhere. She has a medium version, which can't cross up, and the heavy version, which always crosses up. And then she has EX, which is... Uh, Invincible, and I believe uh, it can both cross up and not cross up. So, pretty cool. Like, pretty cool kit. Um, she's got some pretty cool combos. But, I've been enjoying this character a lot. I think she's super fun. Um, you know. She's a very interesting character for Street Fighter 6. She's she's very unique. Like it's a very different game plan than you're used to for this game. Um she does get a lot of mileage out of a lot of universal mechanics though. Like she gets a lot of mileage out of drive rush. She has really good drive rush normals. Her mediums are amazing. But uh we're gonna play some ranked games now that I've had like explained the character and kind of what she does. Um we're gonna Play a couple of ranked games. Bring it back to the old uh, Skullgirls days of playing, like, ranked sets. Nice. I just literally stopped blocking. Okay. Boom, boom. Go for the overhead. Nice, good throw. This, this Kimberly is playing like a nut, bro. I got the wrong input. <laughs> also, please excuse my voice. I'm just a, uh, the littlest bit sick. Ants here? No, it's so slow. It's a really slow level one. Um, he is random. <laughs> it 
a real slobber knocker set. Also, you know, excuse the rust on the character. She is brand new. I, I don't know why he kept waking up with stuff. And, like, it wasn't supers. Like, he was waking up with things that just buttons. I was holding up. I, he's nuts. Like, he's actually insane. He is just doing some strange shit. That did so much damage. I was gonna do a lot of damage and it might drain her stamina. I love this super, it's so cool. And then... No! I don't know why he did slide. <laughs> I don't know why he did slide. I was hoping that he would uh, sit still in the corner and get stunned, but I should have I should have known that wouldn't be the case. He's got to stop just raw diing mid screen. Oosh. <laughs> cute, cute little reversal, you know. What? That's uh, out of stamina, I believe. Oh lord. <laughs> Blow him a kiss. But yeah, very good, like, screen control. Um, everything on your, like, it, her projectiles do despawn if she gets hit. Which, compared to a couple other zoners in this game, I'm not naming names, but, like, JP. Compared to a couple other zoners, that's a little, a little scuffed. Yeah, we're random. We're random. Don't don't worry about it. What if I just yeah, I was gonna say, what if I just keep doing it? What's up with the low-level Kimberly players not knowing how to combo with Kimberly? I love this super. The super is super cool. Like, you know. Silly, silly wordplay aside, that is a wicked cool super. But yeah, obviously, it, this character I feel like is going to be very strong uh, competitively. Uh, I just, you know, day one and I I woke up a little late today. Like, I've pretty much just been playing Aki all morning. I've just learned a couple of basic things with her that I'm really enjoying. Um, I do think I'm going to have a lot of fun playing this character. Like, I, I do think this character is going to be wicked fun. I also love her lobby faces. They're so silly. She's so cool. She's actually so cool. Okay. Okay. We got the uh, we got a man plant. That was random. We got a man playing good honest Shoto footsies. random I tried to super and I think it gave me command dash pretty I'm pretty sure that's what happened there I'm pretty sure I just got command dash I, did he just do forward heavy punch
I mean, okay. Her drive rush medium kick is so good. It's like actually so good. That's what I'm talking about with this character, by the way. Like, that shit feels super strong. That, like, fake cross-up shit that she can do, like that? Oh my god. We're insane. Yeah, forgive me, you're gonna be seeing a lot of this super, cause I I don't know how to use her other two supers yet. <laughs> like I, I don't know in what scenario you're supposed to use her other two supers. I try to use her level one as like an anti-air, but uh, okay. Just play like a little troll. Okay. What if I just keep jumping? Like, what is he gonna do? I can't believe he matched there because I don't even think he knew what I was doing. Oh no. No, please. Bro, why does it keep happening to me? That's like the third time today. Is it me? No, I'm, I'm still on wired connection. That's wild. Alright, we'll do one more set. Or actually, we'll, we'll do like a couple more sets. Um, but yeah, this is more just like a video where it's just, <coughs> excuse me, more just a video where I want to talk about like why I like this character so much, because I do think she's really cool, and she's really fun to play. Oh cool, Aki Mirror. And again, mirror matches on day one are super useful, because, uh, you learn things about the character that, like, you didn't know before. He just woke up with heavy punch. It's like that. Nice. He is mashing. Wow. I got grabbed from that far away. Sometimes mirror matches can help you learn what you're supposed to do with the character. Not always. I don't even think he knows what this character's anti air is. Like, I don't think he knows that he can just press. Heavy kick. He's, he's trying real hard to do something. I don't know what exact. Where's he going? I was gonna, what is this? Like, one of the things that does throw me off about this character a lot is that her level three super is down forward, down forward punch, and that down forward, down forward kick. Why did he leave the. I, that's another thing I don't understand. Like, 
I don't mean to be a dick. Maybe it's just because like I've been playing this game since day one and I'm in the you know, I'm very high ranked. Why do so many people in like platinum and like diamond rage quit? Like they won and done or they like rage quit from sets? Like what rank are you saving? Like you're you're in like a starter rank. <laughs> Like, I feel like a lot of people who do that are people who didn't start in, like, gold and platinum and shit. Like, they're people who are like, oh, I earned this rank. Oh, well, that sucks. Nice, clean round. She does do a decent amount of damage, I will say. When I first played Aki, when I was doing her combo trials... They kind of did her a disservice because they made it look like her combo damage was really low. Her, her damage is actually pretty consistently good. She, she actually has, like, pretty decent damage. Yeah, I was gonna, I'm waiting for him to just randomly let it rip with a DP. Oh, that's real. Okay, never mind. Her level one's goaded. Her level one's goaded. You could do light punch into level one. That's really good matchup, or not matchup knowledge, but really good character knowledge to have. That's what I'm saying, like, shit like that is what I need to learn with this character. Because I, I do genuinely feel like... <laughs> he's wasted so much stamina. Like, the round just started and he's already... I'm gonna dash up, he's gonna DP. I'm gonna command grab him. Okay, or not. He's he's just doing weird shit. That's kind of tragic for him. He DPs so much. Like, I... Again, it's always one of those things where it's like... You can tell a player in this rank that Ken is one of the best characters in the game and they wouldn't believe you because of the way they play Ken. Because this is, like, low-key hilarious that he plays like this. And it's weird, too, because it's always new players. But, like, they, they learn that, like, EX Short Yukin's invincible and it's all they do on Wake Up. They never mix it up. And, like, they can't even, like, properly do Shoryukens, so they'll do, like, heavy punch into DP. And it's like, oh, no. Zangi. This matchup is probably really good for Aki. I, I don't imagine this matchup being that hard. Pippi do say. Because I imagine that... Well, I mean, especially if he's AFK, I mean... Ooh, wow, this connection does not feel great. I DI, I swear to God. Yo. No, I tried to do Command Dash. Well, sadly, yeah, you're playing Zangief, so you can get lamed out. It didn't give me my command dash. That's tragic. I It keeps eating my inputs. I keep trying to do heavy kick there. Oh, he is just mashing fucking SPD. He doesn't even... What is this? I okay. Does he know? 
No, he doesn't. That's so tragic. <laughs> I I tried to do super after the uh I tried to do super after the uh the the midair uh serpent lash and it didn't come out. I don't even know if you cancel it from there if it actually like links or not. Wow. Just raw overhead at neutral. He, does he not did he not play the like the trial mode for this character? Does he not know that Geef has like the best anti-air in the game? <laughs> Why did he wake up SPD from that fall? This is what I'm talking about. I love fighting low rank Street Fighter players. It's always super funny. He just did the full target combo on block. That was weird. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He literally just sits still. He he has no idea. I saw it. He he did a lariat that got stuffed by a jumpin. How did he learn that? When where like he he's listening to me. I got the mic on. He heard me. That was crazy. Wow. Yo, why does he do that? <laughs> just, just press a bunch of light punches, it'll break through the armor. Yeah, I'm gonna DI because you're just gonna do it again. <laughs> These low rank players are so goofy. Alright. I think that'll be it for today just because uh, this video is already like half an hour long. But I, I hope you guys can see. If this guy accepts, we'll play one more. If this guy accepts, we'll play one more. Yuri. This is the first Yuri I fought as Aki. But yeah, I was like, this video is getting a little long, but also like, it's not 40 minutes long yet. <laughs> that, that smile is so funny. Nice. I tried to parry. Oosh. Oosh. Okay. Yeah, this Yuri's kind of nuts. This is like one of the first matches I played with Aki where it's like, this feels like a real match. Okay.
Because Yuri's kind of nuts. This is what I was like, why are there players in Gold 5 that play that well? And then I just fought like a, what was that, like a Platinum Geef? And he didn't even know that he could Lariat? I have to remember, the non-EX ones don't have invincibility on them. Nice. Nice. He jumps a lot, though. That is one thing. Like, literally every time I hit him, he would hold up. Just kill him. Just kill him. That was a crazy jump in. Oosh. That's what I'm saying about the medium one, man. Ooh, that was not great. She's dead. <laughs> I feel like that level 3 probably does ridiculous damage. But yeah, that'll that'll actually You know what? No. We'll we'll just <laughs> I've I've said I wanted to end this video like 3 times now, but also like we're literally this close to getting platinum too. So it's like, we're just going to get to Platinum 2 on video, and then we'll hop off. Sorry for the three separate endings to this video. <laughs> I love this character. She's so, so goofy. Let's see. Does he know? Nope. Huh? I love fighting Marissa players that aren't me. <laughs> nice. Oosh, oosh, oosh. Oh my god. He's so fucked! He's so fucked, he just doesn't even know it. I, I think uh, that might... Yeah, that got us up to Platinum too. But we'll just finish the set. But yeah, Aki's super fun. Like, obviously, this is really low rank. So, it's a bit hard to say, like, how good this character actually is. She feels good, though. Like, she feels good to play. It's, her combo structure feels so, like, tidy. It feels so clean. Oosh. 
Is she dead? She might be dead. Yeah, I, that's tough. That is so tough. End it with the special. <laughs> that's the that's the Azazel TBD special. You see anybody do that basic ass combo? They got it from me. Uh, it's super funny. But yeah, this character's super fun. Um, I'm probably gonna spend the rest of the day playing ranked on this character. I'm having a blast. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, if you guys like it, just remember to like, comment, subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. This is me, Azazel the Basement Dweller, and uh, hopefully be seeing you guys soon. Uh, take care. Bye bye.